Let's, uh, let's quickly bring up some uh, news reports at this time. And, of course, uh, the first story at this time now has to do with uh, the September the 1st deadline. Uh, and, of course, uh, beginning from today, commercial motorcycles popularly known as Okada will no longer be available in former local governments here in Lagos as well as in six more local council development areas in the state. The state government says it is ready to commence the enforcement of the ban in the affected areas. And TVC News senior correspondent Adi Doja Salam Adini has more. The nuisance posed by commercial motorcycle riders, popularly called Okada, in Lagos State is worrisome. The Lagos State government says enough is enough. The Ministerial Committee on Okada is here again to further cement their decision on Okada ban in four more local government areas and six local council development areas on September 1. Affected local councils include Koshofe Local Government with Ikosi Sherry and Agboike to LCDAs, Oshodi Solo Local Government, Isolo Ejigbo LCDAs, Shomulu Local Government, Bariga LCDA, Mushin Local Government, Odiolowo LCDA. Frederick Oladia Inde says lawbreaker, be it the rider or the passenger, will have their days in jail. We implore the general public to comply as both the riders and passengers are both liable to three years imprisonment if caught and that bike will be confiscated, we will crush that bike. And this is in line with the provision of section 46 subsection 1, 2, 3 of the transport sector law. The commissioner says the state government is not leaving the affected passengers stranded, nor the riders to their fate. And as we speak, uh, we have 200 uh, more last, uh, first and last mile being deployed uh, to the affected areas. We have ramped up the uh, BLT in those areas. As for the riders, uh, the Ministry of Women's Affairs and Poverty Alleviation uh, in, um, involve a lot of people in vocational training. Uh, we have the Lagos State Employment Trust Fund that specialize in giving people loans to set up uh, small businesses. We have the Ministry of Agriculture uh, where we train people to farm and then we give land where people can begin to farm. My visits to the once Okada busy areas of Ikosi Road and Ileile are scanty of the commercial motorcycle operators a day to the enforcement day. Where I did so, where I get 50 cch, now I go go learn work with again. Which work I go go learn, madam? I don't go fit borrow money and I go start business. Make they leave us or make they give us time from six to seven. It's okay. Ikosi Sherry here is one of the local council development areas under the Koshofe local government that is affected by this fresh ban. The activities of commercial motorcycles would definitely be halted here on September 1st, 2022. The recent statistics quoted by the Lagos State Government shows that Okada is the most used mode of transportation for criminality within the state, hence the ban. Ade Doja, Salama Adeni, CVC News, Lagos. Away from Lagos now, the last is yet to be heard about the raging issue of 20 mummified bodies found in a building in Ekhenwa Road in Benin City of the Doe State. Although the police insists the bodies were those of victims of rituals, claims have continued to emerge that the bodies were deposited at the morgue. TVC News, Paul Ezenwa reports. It's been weeks after the police in Edo State alleged to have discovered a ritualist stain following a building stacked with about 20 mummified cops along Ekenwa Road, Bini City, the state capital. Ever since then, the dust raised by this preliminary disclosure by the police is yet to settle as it has continued to generate diverse reactions from the people of the state. Like others who want a more diligent investigation, these persons are conveying a message of disapproval with the position of the police on the matter. Uh, I would say the police, they, are, they, 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 don't, they, don't, they don't want to tell the, the, light, the truth. And before they even come up with their report, we have, we have helped them with the report they are looking for. We went there, we, we, there are some people that, give, that have cops in the mortuary. They came, we investigated them. We did our findings. There are documents that certify that man as a morgue uh, mortician. 
the man is not a man that is not known. He's known by all musicians in Edo State. He's a popular uh, mortuary um, um, operator. He owns other mocks in, in around the state and outside the state. Um, it is that the man was moved from one point where he, they gave him a quick notice to get a new place where he was still working on. He has documents to prove. Here at this joint press briefing, after the expiration of the seven-day ultimatum by the state government, the Edo State Police Command says the investigation is still on. So far, so good. We have 10 suspects that were arrested and also interrogated. However, the principal suspect, Gabriel Chuku Otu, later reported and the main statement, he was also taken to the scene. I would suggest and I would strongly urge that having gotten to this point, we do not prejudice, we cannot try the case in the court of public opinion. The bare facts of what the police have come up with have been presented to him. What uh, follows are most likely criminal proceedings. Why the police still carry out its investigation to unravel the puzzle? The number of suspects taken is said to have risen to about 10 persons. Paul Ezenwa, TVC News, Benin. Emirates Airlines has announced its flight operations or restored its flight operations to Lagos, Nigeria's commercial capital. The company who announced this in email sent to its customers says the new development will take effect as from September the 11th. The development is coming two weeks after the United Arab Emirates carrier suspended flight operations over its inability to repatriate its earnings in foreign exchange from Nigeria. The Emirates move followed concerns raised by the International Air Transportation Association on the issue. And while the federal government says Nigeria was having a foreign exchange crisis and couldn't meet some responsibilities, it later bowed to pressure and released $265 million to the airlines. Finally, at this time, Vice President Yemi Oshibaju is in the United States now, this to seek global partnerships and support for Nigeria's recently launched energy transition plan. Professor Oshibaju, alongside relevant ministers and other top government officials, will hold a series of meetings to promote the plan and secure global support from the U.S. government, as well as the private sector and other development partners. While in the U.S., Professor Shibaju will meet uh, with the uh, Vice President of the United States, Kamala Harris, the Secretary of Energy, Jennifer Granholm, and the Secretary of Treasury, Janet Yellen. He will also meet with the President of the World Bank Group, David Malpass, amongst others. Nigeria's Vice President is also scheduled to speak on Nigeria's energy transition plan at the Center for Global Development in Washington, D.C. before his return to Abuja next week.